Welcome back my fellow machine learners. My name is Bevan Smith and in this video we're going to look at what is the difference between stochastic mini batch and batch gradient descent in neural networks. Okay, so how do we train a neural network? The first thing to know is what we are trying to do is we are trying to repeatedly update the weights and the biases in the network. Okay, so a network is made up of many, many different things, but the main thing that we're trying to do is get the right weights and biases so that we can carry out an accurate prediction. Okay, and the way we do this is by carrying out forward and back propagation. Now, this is not a video on forward and back propagation, so I suggest that you see my previous videos where I go into quite a bit of detail on how we carry out forward and back propagation. But back propagation involves something called gradient descent, which is the way that we ultimately update the weights and biases. Okay, so forward and back propagation. When we carry out forward and back propagation using gradient descent, we can use basically one of three methods, right? The one is stochastic gradient descent, the other is mini batch, and the third is batch gradient descent. These are the three different choices that we have. Okay, so we are trying to train a neural network on a training data set like this one. Okay, this is uh, my silly training data set that I just made up. So say now this is a data set for students and we're looking at their grades. Okay, so we've got a bunch of grades here. And ultimately what we're trying to do is train a neural network so that we can predict a final math grade. So we've got three input features, X1, X2, X3, which is basically the science grade, your chemistry grade, and the number of hours studied for the, this maths um, exam. And then we have the final math grade. So what we're trying to do is train a neural network on a training data set. And each of these are called my training examples. Okay? So if we input one training example at a time, okay, one training example at a time, and we carry out forward and back propagation to update the weights, that is called stochastic gradient descent, one training example at a time. So for example, we input this um, example, training example, into our neural network, we carry out forward propagation, we carry out back propagation and update the weights. That is, we have carried out one pass and uh, forward and one pass backward using one training example. Then we input the second one and we carry out forward and back propagation and update the weights. And we input the third one forward and back and update the weights. And the fourth one forward and back and update the weights, that is stochastic gradient descent. So basically, we are moving towards a, a global minimum um, every single time we input a training example. We are updating our weights and moving to the optimal weights. However, if we in input multiple training examples at a time, but importantly, guys, less than the entire training data set. So multiple training examples, but less than the entire training data set, that is called mini batch gradient descent. For example, say we take these two training examples, put it uh, inserted or inputted into the neural network, carry out forward and back propagation, update our weights, then, um, then input this in, and the right. So this was one mini batch of size two. Okay, 
Then we put in another mini batch of size 2 and um, carry out forward and back propagation to update the weights. This is called mini batch. So you can see it is larger than 1, but it's smaller than the entire training data set. But if we input the entire training data set and carry out forward and back propagation, that is called batch gradient descent. Right? So we, we put in the entire training data set, forward, back propagation, update the weights. That is called batch gradient descent. So note, each time we use the entire training data set, that is called an epoch. So in our case, for stochastic gradient descent, remember that's where we input one at a time, we would have carried out four passes, meaning four times we would have carried out forward and back propagation and updated the weights four times before completing one epoch. For many batch, we would have carried out two passes, two times forward and back propagation to complete one epoch. And for batch, we would have carried out one pass to complete an epoch. But remember that it will most likely take many epochs before the model is fully trained. So just because we've gone through the entire data set once does not mean that the model is fully trained. We may need to go, whether we're using stochastic, mini batch or batch, we may need to go th pass through the entire data set multiple times. So why not just use the entire data set, that is batch, each time we want to carry out forward and back propagation? Well, one major reason is that each time we want to update the weights, we have to process the entire data set. This can be comp computationally very expensive if the data set is large. So instead, we can choose training example sizes much smaller than the entire data set and use that to update the weights each time. That is, we can use these smaller mini batches to begin updating the weights and biases even before we have completely finished using the entire data set. That is, before we have completed one epoch. So mini batch or stochastic gradient descent is simply faster than batch. What does the literature say? Okay, so here we have something from Goodfellow, Bengio, and Corville from their excellent book called Deep Learning, which I encourage you to read. They say most deep learning algorithms are based on an optimization um, algorithm called stochastic gradient descent. So these are the leaders in the field, and they are saying already that most deep learning, remember deep learning is neural networks, most deep learning is based upon stochastic gradient descent. Then they also say nearly all of deep learning is powered by one very important algorithm, stochastic gradient descent. So these leaders in the field are favoring stochastic gradient descent. What does our good friend Wikipedia say? When combined with the back propagation algorithm, uh, it is the de facto standard algorithm for training artificial neural networks. What is, what is the de facto standard algorithm? Stochastic gradient descent. What about this paper by Lekun, Botu, Orr, and Mueller? Um, the paper is called Efficient Backprop. They say stochastic learning, which is what we're talking about, stochastic gradient descent, is generally the preferred method for basic propagation, back propagation. They also say it's usually much faster than batch learning and often results in better solutions. So they also prefer stochastic gradient descent. However, 
Andrew Ng, who's uh, the well-known lecturer and researcher in, in machine learning and deep learning from Stanford University, is also the one that uh, created a bunch of great courses that you can find on Coursera on deep learning, machine learning, linear regression, logistic regression, all those things. He says um, that stochastic and mini batch make progress before fully processing the entire data set. And this is what we've said before. However, he suggests to rather use mini batch than stochastic gradient descent. Okay, he has a few reasons, but that's his suggestion. However, this is the conclusion. Most of the literature recommends stochastic gradient descent. Andrew Ng recommends mini batch, but he does not re recommend batch. Okay, but no one recommends batch that I can find. Perhaps there are specific cases where batch would work better. But it seems that the general consensus of the leaders in the field, the literature, is that do not use batch gradient descent and most use stochastic and sometimes perhaps we should use mini batch. So stochastic and mini batch are faster than batch gradient descent. Okay, my fellow machine learners, I hope you have learned something and enjoyed the video. All the best and bye for now, my fellow machine learners.